Computed tomography, more commonly known as CT, is a diagnostic procedure that plays a vital role in medicine. It provides a crystal clear view and answers many clinical questions, often within seconds. CT picks up even the slightest pathological changes and helps characterize soft tissue. How does it work? Let's take a closer look. Unlike conventional X-rays, CT scans take multiple images in succession, each time of a different layer of the body. These are used to create two-dimensional sectional images in various shades of gray. Bones appear bright because they transmit very little X-ray radiation. The procedure is painless and usually takes just a few minutes. CT scans are taken after an accident, a heart attack, or a stroke. For example, to clarify exactly what happened and what has to be done first. They also determine the size and location of a tumor and the probable success or failure of a treatment. CT scans can also visualize very clearly the blood vessels in the brain and heart and indicate where deposits have made these dangerously narrow. During a CT scan, the patient lies on a table that then slides into the scanner. As the patient enters the scanner, the integrated X-ray source rotates, continuously emitting X-rays that penetrate a given part of the body from every angle. Organs and tissues in the body attenuate the X-rays to different degrees. The rays that pass through the body hit detectors and are converted into electronic signals. These signals allow the computer to calculate an image. Two X-ray tubes make the sectional images in half the time, so it's even possible to get a clear image of a rapidly beating heart. On the basis of the 2D or 3D images, the radiologists reach a diagnosis. They then discuss the findings and therapy recommendations with their medical colleagues. Before the scan, it may be necessary to administer an agent that increases contrast in the images, a so-called contrast medium. This makes it easier to differentiate between different tissue structures. Blood vessels, tumors, and inflammations are imaged more precisely, and diseases are detected earlier and more reliably. Nowadays, almost all patients can be examined using CT. That includes those who find it difficult to lie still during a scan. Age, height, and weight are no longer a factor. However, because of radiation exposure, pregnant women should only be examined with a CT scan if the diagnosis cannot be made any other way. Today, the average radiation dose from a CT scan is low. On average, it equals the amount of natural radiation from the environment that a person is exposed to in a year. This low dose has been achieved through various technological advances. Nowadays, it's even possible to take CT scans with a radiation dose of a single conventional X-ray image. CT scans not only visualize the body's anatomy, they also increasingly inform the doctor about the characteristics of the tissue. This additional information is important for deciding on the therapy, but that's not all. When they are linked to large databases, learning algorithms can extract more and more information from CT scans, and that increases the usefulness of the examination. This development is still at an early stage. 